Yeah, good day guys. Um, thank you for the views and uh, the comments I've been getting from the unboxing of your router. So today I'll just be doing a setup on how to set up your router, home router, your MTN home router. So I'll just use straight your points. Now over here, this is a router. I've been using it for long and I've gotten a lot of questions which I know I've attended to some. We've attended to some questions and we have responded to try to fix and solve some issues but this video is actually how to set it up or how to set up your router like setting it up both giving it ssid putting it password and everything so i've been using this router already but i'll just have to reset this router. i'll just show you the process all over, all over again how it starts so that here just this is the reset button so i'll have to do this to reset the router so that i can now it will look as if I got it new from the box. So I'll just click on this, this reset. I'll just do something like this. I'm using a toothpick. You can use something like a needle or whatever you like that is tiny. I'll just press push it and hold it. And if you watch, if you look over here, you see it's still showing. Just watch. So I just reset it and it now comes on. So it's gonna come on. So when it comes on cannot be able to connect so why is coming up i just want to explain something short to you. so for me to be able to connect to this router over here you see something like a ssid name the ncm brown router name so it has two channels which is this antenna one is for two gigahertz um, frequency and the other one is for five gigahertz frequency the difference between two of them is one of the two gigahertz frequency the 2.4 gigahertz frequency travels far than the one of 5 gigahertz but the one of 5 gigahertz is more faster than the one of 2.4 gigahertz but this one goes for a long distance while the one of 5 gigahertz goes for a short distance so the both of them are the same so the both of them are the same i'll go back to season to show you the names when we search on it you see the both the both names you see them and the old both of them use the same wi-fi key so let's move up to, over to the laptop but for me to connect it i can usually use such with Wi-Fi, or I'll use something like this, which they call internet port. To the system right now, uh, let's go to the network section, down to the network, on our Wi-Fi, which is telling us that it's available. I'll just click on zero to show me the network. You are now seeing the um, SSID for the 2.4 gigahertz and the MTN 5 gigahertz. So the both of them the same password works on each of them. So but it now determines I'll show you guys how to use the password to connect and also the internet, how to connect with the internet. So the internet uh, internet cable. So down here I'll just click on connect. Okay, it's connected already. So uh, let me disconnect. And click on forget because I've saved it already so that's why I connected already before so what I'll just use I'll just disconnect click on forget so I have to clear it out then just come back here I'll click on this then check this then click on it it asks for the Wi-Fi key which I will type the password I click on next so I'll be able to connect to my router using the SSID and the password Wi-Fi key there's another method let me just disconnect this so I'll just use this patch cable I constructed this one myself I'll just plug it into here into the router then take the other end and plug into my PC the port where there is for internet I'll just click here and push it in I plugged it so I will now see the connection. Let's go back to the system to see what goes. So down here you are seeing that the screen that is connected. If you watch well, is a if I click on this and go to um, set Wi-Fi settings, then over to internet. You see that is internet is connected, and if 
I click over, I'll be able to see the internet of the router. So down here, I set it on meter to make sure. So what I will be doing is simple going to access and change the SSID. So the only way I can access this internet is the actual using the IP address. The IP address is what is actually from here. It's actually from here. So we connect using the IP address, which is this that is showing over here. So down here you are seeing uh, 192.168.0.1. So this is the IP address I'll use to access this router to be able to configure the settings on it. So let's go over as I do it. Down here, I will set up my browser. I use Chrome. Chrome. Click a new window. Close this. Now I've accessed this IP address of the router 192.168.0.1. Then press enter. So this is the MTN router. So I'll just ask for the password. Read the password is written at the back of this router. So if you watch over here, if you watch over here, the password is written at the back, which is also at the So that's what I'll use to log into the system. So let's go over to it. So down here, I'll now type the password, which is admin. Click login, so I'm not able to log into the router. So down here on the router, now you're not seeing the router access. So, but I'm just gonna talk, I'm not going to the large networking part, I'll just show you guys the setup. So, you just click on Wi Fi settings, and this is the 2.4 gigahertz. So, I can just click here and um, come over here. This is the SSID name. I'll just uh, you can enable Wi Fi which if you want to do that. We want you can also disable you can disable or enable SSID because the difference between the enabling Wi-Fi or disabling Wi-Fi is so that when you if you disable it, nobody can be able to connect to your access point. You only you only way you can connect to your access point, or uh, I mean sorry, your router is using the internet cable. So apart from the internet cable, nobody can have access to your router. Now, but if you enable it, people can have access to your Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi people can be able to connect to it now the ssid broadcast is uh, enabled that means that's why you can be able to see over here in the network part you're able to see um, the, when you search for the wi-fi you're able to see this so if i turn off the ssid you can't be able to see that um, uh, broadcast you can't be able to see the wi-fi name or the router's name and why is advantage i usually use it i use it more of the time Maybe if I'm people knows me a lot, so and I don't want people to start disturbing me to say, please connect me to your router. I just um, disable it. If I disable it, I can only connect to my access point using the Wi-Fi name. It asks me to enter manually. So I enter the SSID name based on the one that we need. I'll enter the SSID manually and also enter the password for you to be able to connect to the Wi-Fi. But if it's the Wi-Fi that you disabled, you can be able to connect to your router at all. So I'll just come over here and rename this Inspire Tech 2.4. Sorry, there's no space. I'll give underscore 2.4. Then over here, I'll change this password. This is the default password that was at the back of the router. I'll just come here and just give it a password of arbitrary 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 6, 7, 8. So it's not active. I can now see. And I've saved it and then I'll switch over to it's done saving. I will now refresh it. Success it has not saved. So I will now go back to the 5 gigahertz settings. Come the same thing here. Yeah, I'll just change this to expire tech underscore 5.0. So this is just the Guys, network type is this, so just change the SSID password to 1 09876543. Now, this is my password, I'll not save it. 
So that is how I just saved for the access point. So this is all you need to do about um, setting up your SSID and the password. But if you watch your if after doing this, if you are connected, if, if I'm not connected using the internet cable, after doing this, uh, you have to connect back to the Wi-Fi using that uh, new SSID you created. Like going down here, if you watch the name changes. So if you watch here, it has changed to this and this one is already about to pick up. So if I off my router and turn it back, it's gonna pick up already. So, but if you are connected with this SSID here, with the SSID, with this one, and when you rename it, when you rename it, it has to, you have to go back and connect back to the access point. You have to connect using the password you created and now connect back to this IP address for you to be able to access this your router. If not, you can't be able to access it. And why it was easy? Because I have this internet cable, so it's connected already to it. I can't, that's why it was not able to log me out. But if you are, to, if you are connected, if you set it up with this um, Wi Fi, it will have to log you out for you to pick. In fact, you can see now it has not picked the two names that I just renamed it to. So it has picked it up. So you can also do that. That's how you basically set up for the Wi Fi. Then here is where you turn off your data. So if I click on this, this shows data turned off. So over here, you see there's no data communication going. And so on the symbol here. Actually, on the router here, you now see that it's showing red light. So this red button is telling us that uh, the data, there's no data communication between um, the internet service provider and the router. So they're not communicating, there's no transfer of data. So this is what it means. So I turn the data off. So I can't be able to browse. I can, I can be connected to the system, but I can't access the internet because this data is turned on. So I'll just go back to the system to show you how I turn it on. Over here is a university that it logged me out. I'll just click the password again. I click login and I'm in back. So down here, you can now see that the data is turned off. I can now turn it on simply by clicking on it and it's now turned on. So if you watch on back here, you see that it's on already. It's connected and if you watch here now, you now see that it's connected and it's um, shining blue light, uh, telling us that it's back on and connected. So over here is um, the download speed of your router. Then here is um, actually the connected devices telling that um, one laptop is connected. So if it's a mobile device that is connected, it also shows that the mobile device is connected. This one can't um, actually Wi-Fi network that connects to it. Why this one? It's um, internet ports, internet cable that is connected to it. So that is the work of the problem. So please, um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below the section and we'll respond to you immediately. Thanks.